Three X times that's three. Three X squared. All right, so when looking at this triangle, um, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, when we're trying to define area, what I have talked about, the first and most important thing is identifying what figure that we're trying to find the area of. Up. And then next, importantly, is writing down the formula. We really only talked about three formulas. Actually, we got into four formulas last class period, which was parallelogram, a, um, triangle, trapezoid, and then we kind of presented to you kites and so forth later. Now, so for this one, we need to identify what type of figure do we have. Now, notice the dark lines is what we're trying to figure out, which is a triangle. So you could say area of the triangle equals one half base times height. So therefore, now I need to determine what is the base and what is the height. And you guys can see there's a lot of numbers up here that are looking to try to confuse you to determine which is the base, which is the height. So when we're determining the base, we only want to know what is the base of the triangle. This really has no bearing on this shape of the triangle. Just the base of the triangle. So I'd say area equals 1 half, 25. And then the height, if you guys remember, this 40 tells us the slant. The height is always from directly to the base to the top, which would be 17. So then, I'll just take my handy dandy calculator, and I'll just do 0 0.5 times 25 times 17, and I get area equals 212.5. Now, it's really, really important for us to understand that they have the dimensions of centimeters. So when we're writing this, we got to make sure that if we are included, if they include units, then we have centimeters, and area is going to be in our second dimension, so it's going to be centimeters squared. Okay? Wait. Yes? Thank you.